Today's horror manga dub and narration is Frau Trude. I'd now like to take this time to give a very special thanks to Elle's Wife Audio and Limited Stories for agreeing to collaborate with me on this story. They are both awesome narrators and voice actors in their own right, so please check out their amazing work in the description and pinned in the comments below. Thank you everyone, and enjoy this grim fable. I'm going to Frau Trude's house. Don't be stupid, if you go there we'll disown you. Please dear, you can't go to that awful place. I'm going to see Frau Trude, and that's that. I've made up my mind. They say Frau Trude's house is a strange place. She has incredibly rare and unusual things there. I just can't resist seeing it all with my own two eyes. And so, our dear protagonists continued on their grand journey. Until, arriving at the manor where allegedly Frau Trude resides. That was when she came across a strange man. I was completely amazed. A man who was green from head to toe was sitting right on the stairs. Is this where Frau Trude lives? If how I look frightens you, you better hurry on home. I'm not afraid of you. Where is Frau Trude? No idea. Is she upstairs? She isn't. Look elsewhere. But she was a persistent one. One way or another, she was going to find Frau Trude. It's so big, I can't find her, and there are lots of doors that won't open. But it doesn't seem like she's downstairs. She must be up here. This time, there was a jet black man coming down the stairs. He went outside carrying a sack over his shoulder. Give up and go home. No. Ugh. If you don't mind leftovers, you can eat whatever's in there. And then, well, if you plan on sticking around, you can start doing the cooking. I'm not going home until I see Frau Trude. The green man would occasionally leave the house and come back with things. The head of a dead soldier. The shoe of a hanged man. The hat of a man who collapsed on the road. The blanket of a sick child who had died. There were also less obvious things. I didn't know what they were, but they gave off a sense of anger and grief. Why do you collect things like that? It's my job. What's it for? Frau Trude uses it in her work. Later that day, the ambitious girl found a flight of stairs. Hmm. There was one more person in the house. A red man. In the afternoon, the red man would take his axe and leave. When he came back at night, the axe would be slick with blood. On the other hand, the black man would leave at night and return in the morning. He'd bring back a full sack, but I couldn't tell what was in it. Frau Trude was nowhere to be found. She's not downstairs. If you're planning to go upstairs, don't. Why not? The black man up there isn't exactly friendly. But despite the warning from the green man, she was no coward. She had a goal, and this was not nearly enough to deter her. That was when she came face to face with the black man. If how I look frightens you, you better hurry on home, little girl. I'm not scared, and I'm not leaving. Where is Frau Trude? I don't know. I don't have the slightest idea. What about up there? No, you can't go up there. Anything could happen if you wander around. Fine, I'll look around on this floor. Staying true to her word, she continued to wander about the floor until she came across a room that was plagued by a veil of darkness. It's dark. Are there no lights? That was when she stumbled upon a skull. But it wasn't just one. It was a whole mound and pile of skeletons. She wouldn't be in here. Hmm. 
There are piles of bones in there. What's that about? Oh, no idea. Are you sure they aren't potatoes or something? Ha 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 ha. It's pitch black in here, too. Eek! Ew! The man of the second floor let out a light chuckle. <laughs> you think that's enough to scare me off? I didn't give up. I slept in a small room on the ground floor. During the day, I searched the second floor as I cooked meals and did chores. All because I wanted to meet Frau Trude, no matter what. So now it's spiders. I'm not afraid of you. You're getting in the way of my mop. Just look at all these spider webs. I really need to clean. Hey! What are you doing? Who told you to clean? Oh, I'm sorry. The room is just so dirty, so I thought I'd help you out. Do not do anything without asking me first. If Frau Trude were to catch you, I bet she'd turn you into a log and burn you in a fireplace. Hey, wait up. If you brought the mop all the way up here, you might as well clean the halls. Now get to it. Why would Frau Trude burn me? Hmm. That's just what witches do. She's a witch? Isn't that why you're here? If you're going to play dumb, the red man on the third floor is going to crack your damn skull open. Why would he do that? Who knows? I'm not afraid of your threats. Is Frau Trude on the third floor? I told you that I don't know. If you wander around upstairs, you're going to get torn apart. Frau Trude must be on the third floor. But the black man is always guarding the stairs, so I haven't had a chance. Perfect. The black man's gone. <laughs> what a sly little girl. I wonder if I can get to the upper floors from outside. Maybe from the back? But it would not be as easy as it would seem for our dear protagonist. Wow, look at that cliff. There's no way I can get up there from here. This is where I work. Don't just barge in. I'll only be a minute. What are you doing? My job. Don't pry. Those are the things you gather up outside, right? What do you make with them? Hmm. Where does the red man go every day with that axe of his? What does he do with it? His job? He kills things. Like what? You sure are full of questions. Didn't I tell you not to pry? The black man leaves at night. What does he do out there? At night, he spreads seeds. Seeds of resentment, hatred, strife, and more. I don't even know the details. We all stick to our areas and don't mess with one another. That's enough. Get out and let me concentrate on my work. I have to get to the third floor somehow. Now's my chance. The black man left. Hmm. What? I expected as much. Is this supposed to scare me? <laughs> Come back here, little girl. <laughs> This way. Thank you, Green Man. 
We hardly use the staircase. It's always closed. I really can't go upstairs. The second floor belongs to the black man. The third to the red man. And the first to me. That's how it is. But I won't tell anyone. I couldn't hide it from Valtrude. Why is the red man that violent? That's just who he says he is. Stay away from him for your own good. I'd even like to meet him on the stairs. Is he like that outside, too? What does he do out there? Can you tell by the bloody axe? He puts the finishing touches on Frau Truth's work. You pretty much understand what goes on here, right? You should really head home. No way. I'm not going home until I meet Frau Trude. What did you just say? You went upstairs while I was out. Not to mention you said that the green man came onto my turf. <sighs> but I didn't have a choice. During the day, you stand guard and keep me from going up. Oh, so this is my fault. Huh. <laughs> me keeping you from going upstairs is basically Frau Trude telling you not to go. But hey, why not? I'll let you go to the third floor like you want. That said... The red man up there is an unpredictable guy. You never know what he'll do. But it's no skin off my back. Huh. Red man, wait! I'm looking for Frau Trude. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, well. Don't you see? He isn't like me. You can't reason with him. He wouldn't even talk to me. Can't you say something to him? You've got to be kidding me. Look, you aren't Frau Trude. You can't give me orders. You waltzed all up to the third floor on your own. Figure it out yourself. Fine. I'll wait until he's gone. Hours later, the Red Man departed the house. She used this opportunity to quickly climb the stairs and explore the halls and corridors. This won't open either. Oh, it's open. This room was filled with cobwebs and dust. What, another staircase? So there's a fourth floor? Weird. It's a dead end. So, was Frau Trude up there? There are lots of rooms and lots of locked doors. I don't know a damn thing about the third floor. Feel free to ask the Red Man to open them for you. <laughs> Who's the man on the fourth floor? Hmm? Fourth floor, you say? There is no fourth floor. Liar, there was a staircase. You must have got it wrong. Is Frau Trude on the third floor? No idea. I can't go upstairs, you know. Fourth floor? There's a fourth floor? There was a staircase. Then go up and check it out. I did, but it was a dead end. Huh, <sighs> it's a big house, and there are things I don't really understand. Anyway, she must be on the third floor, right? I have a feeling she's not on the third floor either. It feels the same as the first and second floor. Then she isn't anywhere. So will you give up already and go home? No! Why do you want to see her that badly? If you stay in a place like this, the house will have you in the end. So what? That's what I want. Don't you know what that means? This isn't a place for you. Go home already. Then why are you here? It's too late for me. I was lured out and wound up here. When I think about it, it was probably the devil who lured me. When I heard about Frau Trude, I just had to meet her, no matter what. She lives in a giant mansion, surrounded by mystery and feared by everyone. I want to be like her. I told you not to come in here! That's what you were making before. What is it? I also told you not to pry. 
What do you do with that? Take it to Frau Trude? It's no business of yours. Now out! I know he's hiding something. Once a month, he drops off that pot at the bottom of the stairs and... Mm-hmm. Better hurry. The girl hid inside the pot, tying it up, and the man of the second floor came to pick it up. Hmm. The hell? It isn't even tied properly. It's extra heavy today. He carried it up the stairs and let it down at the base of the third floor. The red man is carrying me. He stopped? Strange. Very strange. Hmm. Yeah. I'll ask the guy downstairs. <laughs> Seems like he left. Does he suspect something? What should I do? Where am I? Third floor hallway. This isn't working. Hmm. Over there. So there was a hidden door at that landing. Frau Trude must be up there. What? No! Green man! Green man. But there was no turning back now for the young lady, for she had been through so many different trials and tribulations. She scaled the staircase until arriving at a nearby window. That was when she peered in. So, that's Frau Trude. <laughs> Whoa. Now I know why the green man kept telling me to go home, and why my mom and dad said not to come. But it's too late now. I came here with my mind made up. Even if that means I can never go back to the world I lived in. Frau Trude? Indeed. I always knew you'd find your way up here eventually. So I finally get to meet you, ma'am. <laughs> you should have found me sooner. Well, what do you think of the house? It's strange that there's a green man on the first floor, a black man on the second, and a red man on the third. All three are my servants. There's nothing strange about that. But when I looked through the window just now, I saw a devil with a head of fire standing there in your place. Really now? Then you've seen the devil's true form. You pass. 
I've been waiting forever for a girl like you to come. Are you going to turn me into a log and set me on fire? Oh, I wouldn't do that. But after you take over my job, if you're clumsy enough, the Inquisition will come for you and meet out a similar fate. You'll be burned at the stake. You'll burn just as well as a log. In that case, does that scare you? No, it doesn't. Good. Good. It seems like the green man wanted you to go home rather badly. Are you sure about this? I'm sure the green man died for me, but... I don't feel it. Excellent. Now I can retire. You know what your first task is, don't you? Find yourself a new green man. But first, do you know where we are? Your house, right? No. We're right atop of Hell's Kettle. Let me introduce you to the job you'll be taking over. She opened up a tremendous crater in the floor. And that was when they saw it. Uh. The fiery depths of hell. Hell's inferno. Well, what do you think? Dreadfully bright, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'd like to give a special thanks to my Patreons. Sarah DeJesus and Motosurf. I hope you enjoyed the video, and remember, you're important and you matter. Have a good night everyone. Goodbye.